thought what we would do was have a, a short press conference uh, based on the number of inquiries we received from you all to maybe right from the outset uh, when the unlawful flight warrant was issued in Minneapolis and on May 7th, uh, I mean on June 12th, uh, all our offices were instructed by headquarters to follow up on any leads on Mr. Kunanen in an, on an immediate basis. And by that we meant that all leads on this case should be covered in an hour or less. And that was adhered to. We set up the hotline, the 1-888-324-9800 hotline to locate Mr. Kunanen. Our Minneapolis office set out over 1,100 leads around the country. We received over 1,000 phone calls and tips, uh, 500 of which were followed up on uh, by other field offices around the country. Three questions. We would have preferred that Mr. Kunanen be taken alive because we feel that there is good evidence that he would have been prosecuted uh, and gone to jail. And uh, over a period of time, maybe have cooperated and maybe tell us why he, com he did the things he did. Facts that, uh, as we know, I'm Bill Esposito. I'm the uh, deputy director of the FBI. On my left is Bob Bryant, who's the head of the uh, 